Here's the ankle joint. Let's see how it looks in the living body. Here, the loose parts of the joint capsule have been removed, leaving these thickened parts, which are the ligaments of the joint. Here's the front of the joint in plantar flexion. Here's the back of the joint in dorsiflexion. On the lateral side, the joint is held together by the posterior talofibular and anterior talofibular ligaments. On the medial side, it's held together by this massive ligament, the deltoid ligament, which attaches not only to a broad area on the talus, but also to the adjoining bones below and in front, as we'll see shortly. The ligaments of the ankle joint ensure that the talus can't rock from side to side, like this, or move backward or forward like this, relative to the tibia and fibula. Here's the ankle joint with its joint capsule intact and with the rest of the bones in place. The capsule of the ankle joint is loose on the front and it's also loose on the back. This looseness allows for a full range of dorsiflexion and plantar flexion.